Hey, quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today. All right, my friend Christine is in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing well. It snowed yesterday and again this morning. I don't know what to do anymore. I just, I'm just befuddled. I put away my winter coat and then Mother Nature had different plans. I know, I know. Okay, did you have a great weekend? I did. I haven't seen you in a week. What'd you do? Yeah, we, so it was Tim's mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Tim's mom. Yes. So we did um, what they affectionately call redneck top golf. So in his <laughs> aunt's backyard, we had like a chipping contest with like wiffle balls and then a driving contest with marshmallows. Like it was. And did you have a putting? Yeah, there was a putting one too. And did you win any of the events? I got second place in the chipping contest. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> By pure luck, of course. That's all right. <laughs> How are you taking it? It's good. Yes. It's very good. All right. Where is everyone watching from today? Listen, you want to play golf with Christina, reach out to her, okay? <laughs> um, people are from Montana. I see some people from Ohio. Somebody gave us a really hearty hello from Ohio. Welcome, welcome. Michigan, Rita is in Michigan. I do love Michigan. I feel like lots of the country is under snow again. I think so too. Right? I think there was just a big like cloud that just kind of got everybody. <laughs> snow cloud. Okay. All right, Quilters, did you love the projects featured in our waiting room videos? Uh, let's take a look at some of them. Okay, first up, we have this darling quilt by Alice F. Oh, it's so cute. So, so sweet. And I love kind of the old-fashioned fabrics yes. in it. I love those primary colors. She did a great job. She made some four patches, little parallelograms in there. Good job. Next, we have this cute little table topper by Annette L. Okay, Christina, what's the die? It's Winding Ways, right? Winding Ways, ah. yes. Good job. I love the bright summer kind of yes. colors, the orange and the yellow. And the rooster is super cute. I love that so much. I want one. We, should, we could find you one, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Finally, we have this beautiful maple leaf quilt made by Nancy S. Okay, Christina, have you made maple leaf yet? I haven't. But this I makes me really, super tempted. I really do like this die. And I love the little checkerboard look that she used yes. um, with our cubes. Great job. Good job, quilters. Hey, quilters, send us your fun projects. We would love to see them. Christina, how can they send us the pictures of their finished projects? They can private message us on Facebook. They can post it on our feed. They can just about any way. We have lots of ways to yeah. send them to. We'd love to see your finished projects because yes. I feel like you're working on those, right? We should, we should do that. <laughs> okay, here is the photo of the day. I know you all look forward to this. Okay, this is a Runza <laughs> sandwich. Christina, what is a Runza sandwich? So it's a cabbage and I think cheese and, and meat filled like hot pocket. It's a meat pocket. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it has like a little bread around it. Yeah. And um, they are famous here in Nebraska. So if you come to Nebraska, you have to have a Runza sandwich. In fact, um, during the winter, they have what they call Temperature Tuesday. It's the best. It's truly the best. And it's cheap food all the day long. So whatever the time, whatever the temperature is at like 8 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. if you buy a Renzo combo, that's how much the sandwich is. So sometimes it's free because it's, you know, negative 47 here. Okay? <laughs> they don't give you change back, but that's okay. So here's the question of the day. What is your state or province or territory famous for? Okay, and I have a really good reason to ask you that question. And look at Christina knowing all the politically correct things. So well, I knew someone from Canada would say that that's not a state. So I was like, yeah. I'm going to put them all in there. Come on, Canada, we want to know. So <laughs> what is your um, place where you live famous for? And for sure put it in the comment section because we're going to read through those today. I love it. Okay, it's Wednesday. You're our Wednesday family. We love you. So we have this great exclusive promo just today until 12 midnight central time. Buy one, get one 70% off. That's older than Mike. 70% <laughs> off. Go dyes, cubes, and cutting mats. You're going to use the code APRIL70, A-P-R-I-L, like the month of April, 770. Okay, so we're going to talk about this great promo today. So today is a really good day to like stock up on mats and strip dyes and cubes, and we'll, we'll try and kind of talk about that. Okay, quilters, have you noticed that we now have two AccuQuilt Live events every week? Let me explain the difference between them. Wednesday show, which is today, are like an open house. 
come in anytime. We have a ton of fun. Uh, we always showcase a specific die or a cube. We're gonna give you tips and tricks on how to use our AccuQuote products, and we always offer you a sweet deal. For example, April 70. Now, Tuesday events are like a dinner party. You wanna make a reservation so you can sit at the head table. This is where we launch new products and we have amazing trunk shows mm -hmm. and it's a total party. We also have special guests that share their expertise about the event topic. Now, Christina, why do they want to have a reservation? Because that's how we pick the winners. We go through those email addresses of those registrants and that's how we pick our winners. Yes, it makes you eligible for prizes and giveaways. We give away stuff all the time. Now, be sure to check out both of our weekly events and bring your friends. Both events start at 12 noon central because that's what time the party starts, okay? 12 noon central time. They are always free of charge and they are always recorded and live on our Facebook page and our YouTube pages, right? And mm -hmm. our website. Yes. No, not maybe just, our website. I don't know. Nah, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> we'll go with those two, okay? So be sure and reserve your spot for our, all of our Tuesday events, okay? Speaking of Tuesday, were you here yesterday? We launched a new cube, a four inch cube. Christina, did you love it? It's so cute. It is so cute. <laughs> okay, in my quilting head, I feel like the box should have been smaller. Oh yeah, that'd have right? been, oh. That I know, because so it's cute. super cute. It's the, same, <laughs> it's the same size, okay? Now we have six cubes in our collection, all right? And next week on Wednesday, we're gonna talk about how all the cubes work together. Christina is going to leave her spot over there because by then we will both have been vaccinated yep. with both yep. vaccinations. I go today, you go tomorrow, right? Yes. Yay. Yes. It'll be fun. So she's going to come hang out with me and we're going to build blocks. Yes. I know. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Today I'm going to give away our Go Bird die. This is a really fun die. It has three different uh, birds on it. To win, uh, to get the chance to win, share the video in your personal Facebook page. Morgan's going to pick the winner at the end of the show. Morgan lives in Michigan. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, and Christine is going to announce it. Okay, so this is our cute little bird die. All right, let's get started. So um, when we know about what we're going to do on these shows like months in advance, okay? And um, I wanted to, I needed to create a par, uh, pattern for this. So I created this super fun and quick and easy little table runner. Okay, here, look at all the bright colors. Look at this. It's called Go Twitter Pated. Because I got to name it because I made it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the thing I want to talk about this is, first of all, it is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. So go and download the pattern. And I created this project in celebration of Arbor Day. Yes. Because Christina, where did Arbor Day start? Right here. Right here in Nebraska, okay? So this is super fun and really easy to do. And I kind of made it in honor of my sister, Betsy. Um, I'm gonna send it to her for Mother's Day. Um, there are five of them and they're a little family. So here, Aww. let's see if I can talk about it real quick. So in the center, there's Betsy and Cody. She's not watching today, she has a day job. Okay, Betsy and Cody. And then right here, this little um, gray, that is my nephew, Bear. He's all things football and sports. This is my little niece, Scotty. I let him choose the colors they wanted to have in the, um, uh, in the table topper, that's Scotty. And then <laughs> this little red bird right here, that is my nephew, Fort, because he is always walking away. He's always <laughs> outside, he's four. Okay, he is never in line with the rest of us, all right? So this was a really great project. Super easy and we'll talk about how fast and easy it was to make. Um, now remember quilters, all of our applique shapes have three different, um, we have free embroidery designs, right? So we have the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, and the motif stitch. If you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries. You can do Raj quilting, which is kind of what I'm gonna do when I quilt this um, to put it together in the table, in the little table runner. You can even do all over quilting. But did you know that we have four purchase embroidery files? I know. So today I'm gonna to show you how to download and use those really fun, fancy embroidery files. All right? So this was so exciting to set up for you today. So I have my embroidery set up here. Okay, this is our embroidery machine. All right? And 
I already have the little um, file that we're going to use, but let's walk through how to download um, your for purchase applique shapes, okay? So now Joe has hooked me up right here. Are we good, Joe? There is my Oakley bug. Look, I've taken all things off my desktop, except right here, look at this. Top secret new dies. Hmm, I wonder what those are. Okay, so to get your applique files, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to our website. So we're gonna go right here to accuquilt.com, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to sign in or create an account. Now I'm already signed in, but it's a free account to um, register. All you have to do is put in your email address, okay? And then when you um, come here, then it's just gonna have you all registered and ready to go. And look, welcome back, Pamela. It's very formal here at AccuQuilt, okay? Um, and this is, the website's great because it's going to tell you, see, look, like this is next week's live event and what's new at AccuQuilt. <gasps> Christina, who's this right here in the corner? Where? Can you see? Oh, I can. Who is it is Christina. She made those. <laughs> okay. So here's our four inch cube and all the information. Flamingos. Oh, Christina, do we have like a few of those left? A couple, not too many. No, gosh, today, throw them in your cart, yes, flamingos. if you want your flamingos, you better get it before it flies away. <laughs> yeah, before they're gone. Okay, so up here in the search engine, I'm going to put birds, and spell it correctly, embroidery. Okay, so you can see that we have, um, here's the owl, here's the ducks, here's the birds. Um, these are free ones. Right, these are the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, and the motif stitch. But I want to get some fancy ones. Look at these, how cute they are, okay? So these are by our good friends at V-Stitch, all right? So what you would do is you would add this to your bag. The fee is $10, but once you buy it, you buy it forever. Yes. It's yours, right? And that's basically like a really fancy coffee. It is. Like, like a, a coffee and a donut. Like It is. Skip your Starbucks and a muffin for the day and get you some V-stitch birds. There we go. And we have lots of V-stitch, right, Christina? So we many. have them for like the gnomes and we have them for the pickup trucks. Yeah, there's one for like the cute car that has like a giraffe in the window. It, it, oh, yeah, so and the cute. surfboard on top <laughs> yes, and all so of those cute. kind of fun things, okay? So if you have an embroidery file and you're thinking, I want to kind of up my game, this is what you would do. Okay, so you would add it to your bag and then choose whatever format you have. We here at the Dream Studio have PES, which stands for Pam Enjoys Sewing, okay? <laughs> I don't but, know if that's true. Huh? I don't know if that's true. That is true, that's how I, how do you remember it? I don't. Oh, <laughs> she just calls me, okay? So that's all the little V-Stitch, our good friends at V-Stitch. Um, we also have some by Marjorie Busby. Yes, and there's we have so many. So many fancy ones, okay? All right, so now put it on a flash drive, bring it to your machine. We're gonna say bye to Oakley. All right, here we go. Okay, so over here, are we good? Um, I have the um, flash drive, and here is my little bird that we're gonna make, okay? So before we do that, we want to cut the shape for our cute little bird. So I have pre-fused my fabric. And Christina, what happens when you pre-fuse fabric? Do you have to worry about lengthwise grain? No, it stabilizes it, Not so there's no all. lengthwise grain anymore. Yeah, it's just fabulous, okay? So this is the bird that I want. So we have three different shapes on our die board, right? So I pre-fused my fabric. I could use up to four layers of pre-fused, okay? And then, oh, I gotta see the... Okay, so you have to look at the design because here's the wing for the bird and this one actually goes up. So you want to put the fabric facing down. I know, ask me how I know all this because <laughs> I did cut them wrong to begin with. All right, Christina, while I'm getting ready to um, run this through our cutter, tell us um, what people's states are famous for. Oh, okay, so Anne from Indiana says Wix sugar cream pie, pork bread, tenderloin sandwiches, and corn. Wix sugar cream pie. We should have just stopped there. I've seen sugar cream pie a bunch of times in these comments. I have no idea what that is, but I want it. We should order some. I know. Okay, what else? Uh, Patricia says she's in Texas and they're famous for blue bonnets. Oh, yes. Makes sense. Um, blue bonnets, the flowers. Yes, I believe so. 
Um, it's not like Buckeyes, the candy. We got that. Okay. <laughs> Lori says Wisconsin's the dairy state. Their Colby cheese is award winning. There we go. Into that. Okay. All right. So today I'm going to use my Go Me. Uh, this cuts all of our dies that are six inches and or smaller. And Christina, what else can you use to cut on the Go Me besides the individual dies? Besides the individual. Cubes. Oh, cubes, yes. What size cubes can we use? Oh, gosh. Four. There we go. Six, yes. eight, and nine. Yes. Uh -huh. All of those will fit through your Go <laughs> fabric cutter. Okay, now look. I'm just making sure I did this right. Because see, I didn't. Okay, so now it has to go up. This is why we practice, but it's okay. Just make sure. All right. Okay, I knew I should have just fan folded and done one of each. That's all right. All right, so mats are in sale today. Hey, don't forget the April 70, buy one, get one 70% off. Hey, don't worry about getting new mats. Do you know why? They're totally recyclable. Yes, and they're super on sale. If you were to buy like the bird's dye and then get the cutting mat for it, yes. it would be like $8. $8. Dollars. Yeah, it would be like $18 off, so then it would go down to like $7.79 or some crazy thing oh, like that. Oh, yeah. So it's a great day to get mats. Great day to get them. Okay, so quilters ask me all the time, which AccuQuilt products and dyes should I buy first? My first number one answer, what do you think it's going to be, Christina? Yes. Huh? All the dyes? Oh, all. <laughs> all is the answer. Uh, strip dyes. What size strip? Oh, two and a half inch. Two and a half inch strip. Why? What do you use it for? Everything. Binding, Everything. borders, squares. Sashing. Yep. And a cube. Okay. Today we're going to open up the eight inch cube, which is one of our most popular mm -hmm. sizes. And remember, as of yesterday, cubes come in six sizes. Yes. The eight shapes in this cube are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. Okay. All right. Now. Here we go. So we're going to start this before we cut anything else. So I've cut my bird and my wing. Whew. Okay. And I'm going to come right here to my embroidery machine. So see, here's my little um, bird. We're going to make it fancy. So watch this. It's going to start with the, oh, here. Helps if I tell it to embroider. There we go. Um, it's going to start by putting the feet on, and since I'm using yellow um, fabric, I'm going to make the feet just black so you can see them really easily. And whoever wins our birds to die today, Christina, shall we send them our little application? Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah, yeah, we'll send it to you. I don't know, maybe motivation, right? Share so you can go. win. Okay, I'm going to let this stitch out while Christina tells us some more things that people's states are famous for. Let's see. Um, Kathy says Washington State Evergreens plus yes. oh, applets and cotlets candy. I don't know. What does it say? Uh, applets and co cotlets. Applets know. and cotlets. I, I have know. no idea what that is, and I grew up in Washington my whole life. Um, our very own Morgan says uh, Coney Dogs and Deep Dish Pizza in Michigan, like the Detroit-style Deep Dish Pizza. Corn Dogs. Mm -hmm. She also says Renzo's look gross, so I don't know. <laughs> If Morgan ever comes, Morgan, we don't care where else you're going to eat. We're taking it to lunch gonna at Runza. It. There's one right by the office. So. There's one right by the office, and they have fries. <laughs> okay, what else are people famous for? Um, let's see. Washington State is the only state named after a president, and Starbucks was born in Seattle. Oh, two really important things. Um, I saw another one. Kansas is known for sunflowers and Pizza Hut. That's where Pizza Hut started. Pizza Hut is like the most ubiquitous fast food chain in the world. Truly. Like you can go to small town Iowa or small town Alabama and there's always going to be a pizza. Do you know what the most common fast food restaurant in the United States is? What? Subway. There's the most Subway subways. Subway eat fresh? Yes. Subway? Yeah. There's the most subways. I had no idea. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> See, look at us. Listen, I don't know what you come here for Wednesdays, but we talk about food most <laughs> of the time. Always. <laughs> okay, so look, here's the little feet. Okay, so now I'm going to change my thread real quick. Okay. Christina, will you talk about what our sale is and give us some ideas? Yeah, so you could get that 8-inch cube. So yes. that would be your regular price. And then if you wanted to get, say, the bird's dye, it yes. would be $35 off. $35 off? So it's like 15 bucks. Oh, see, this is the day to stock up on those mm -hmm. kind of things. Or if you needed like a strip cutter die, most of them are regularly priced $89. Right. But if you bought those and then you got the cutting mats, the cutting mats would be on sale. It, 
it's kind of endless. Oh, possibilities for sure. Okay, so now Miss Chelsea, so once we've stitched out the feet, it's gonna put a placement stitch down so I know where to put my little bird that I've already started. I've already cut him out. See, okay, I have never done applique in the non acu quote world. So apparently in the non acu quote world, you have shapes and then you trim them with tiny little scissors. Oh, maybe that's, my grandmother what? always had these tiny little like Yeah, like those are embroidery scissors. scissors. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't do that. That is not in my job description. Okay. All right, so while that's stitching out, it's gonna put our little placement stitch. We're gonna open up a cube real quick. See, I, it's, I love to watch my embroidery machine work. It's okay. so soothing, that sound. It is, it's like, oh look, it's making, it's doing really important it's kinda things. It's kind of like the, when you used to like, I don't know, my mother used to put me like next to the washing machine to like lull me to sleep a little bit, you oh, know? Oh, we used to put Taylor on top of the dryer. Yeah. Not like in his car nope. seat, not just <laughs> laying there. <laughs> <laughs> and turn on the dryer because that whole big da -da, da -da, yep. da -da. okay so now we've stitched out our bird sorry Chelsea it did it way faster than I thought okay so now I'm just going to come right here Chelsea's camera is on wheels today okay ready so I'm going to take it out but I'm leaving it in the hoop holy smokes don't take it out of the hoop you'll cry okay and why did I not iron while well, it's in here Christina Oh, because you'll melt stuff. It will melt the, <laughs> yeah, ask me how I know that. I did on our ironing. Ooh, we've got our... a question from Linda. Hi, Linda. She wants to know what size of work field are you using with the embroidery machine? Like what's your hoop size, do you know? Yes, I, think maybe I don't know. Six by seven? Five by oh, eight? Oh, we have a ruler. <laughs> it is seven by 10. There we go. And you've got plenty of space there too, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look, here's my cute little bird. Okay, so now I'm just gonna iron her down with my shovel iron. These shovel irons and uh, pressing mats are on our website now. Yes. You're welcome. These are so fun. Oh. I have one by my um, sewing machine all the time now. That's genius. And a go me by my sewing machine all the time now because sometimes they don't count right. I know you all find that hard to believe. You just need like a half square triangle. Yes. Yep. And how does that happen? Because half square triangles come in pairs, like I don't animals know. on the ark. I don't know. And I'm forever losing one. Okay. All right. So there, see how easy that was? Okay. So we're going to put her back in our machine. The thing I love about embroidery machines is look at all the other work I can get done while I'm doing this. Okay. All right. So now it's gonna start stitching out the fancy stuff. So I'm gonna let it just be fancy for a minute. Ooh, okay. Karen W says, uh, Texas is known for rodeos, cowboys, and Tex-Mex food. I do oh, love all of those things I like. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so let's open up a cube and see what's inside. So for this pattern that I made, okay, and I'm gonna tell you this pattern was so easy to make. And you don't have to make it this big. You could have two birds on it. You could have three. You could have a whole row of birds, okay? You could do birds on a wire. Wouldn't That'd that be cute. be cute? Yeah. You can make it longer or shorter, okay? I wrote the pattern so this what works for Betsy's family, okay? You need 50 flying geese. Now, before your quilting head explodes, let me show you how easy it is to cut flying geese. So today I'm gonna use my eight inch cube. Ta-da, ready? Okay. And we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Remember the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes. Okay, so it's, Christina, why do we pull this little skinny one? What's inside? Apparently so you don't break your nail, that's why you pull the first that's one. That's why I pull it first, yes. It comes with a cutting mat and a pattern book. Okay, and a little information training DVD. What if you don't have a DVD? Where can you find out information about oh, our cubes? They're on our YouTube page. They're on our YouTube page. Yep. Watch that. Okay, oh, okay, so we'll talk about that in just a sec. All right, good job, Joe. Okay, Joe got our cubes all together here. <laughs> all right, so here are the first four shapes in the cube. Remember the shapes are the same in every size. They're, or the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes. So shape number one in every single cube is a square. Now the dies are numbered and the pockets are numbered. 
and my machine has stopped, it's okay. Okay? Um, so you can put stuff back where it belongs. The most important thing is to know is the cube systems based on what kind of a patch, Christina? Four patch. Four patch. So shape number one in every cube is a square, four of these sewn together, in this case would make an eight inch block. Yes. Christina, we have lots of customers who think I'm getting the eight inch cube, it's gonna have an eight inch square, right? No, you gotta sew some stuff. You gotta sew some stuff, okay? <laughs> so that's shape number one. Shape number two are smaller squares. There's a blade here in between, okay? So big squares and little squares. Shape number three, Christina, my favorite shape, what is it? Half square triangles. And what's super cool about our half square triangles? There's a quarter inch seam and there's dog ears cut Yes, off. we cut off all the dog ears, no puppies involved. And then from this point here to this point here is that perfect quarter inch seam. All of our geometric shapes, including our strip dies, have a quarter inch seam allowance built in. Okay, shape number four is um, my great shape. It's also quarter square triangles. This is what we're gonna need for our flying geese. Okay, so I'm gonna put these right in here. All right. Oh. If I ever want to like have props with Oakley, I just turn on YouTube and make her watch my videos. <laughs> She's like, Lola, you're on, you're on YouTube. I'm like, I am. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the next four shapes uh, is shape number five. And what's this one, Christina? Shape five is another half square triangle, right? Yeah, smaller half square triangles. This is what we call the workhorse, yes. right? It allows other shapes to become new shapes. So just like our bigger ones, we've cut off the dog ears, this point to this point, perfect quarter inch seam. We're gonna need this. Shape number six. Hold on, I'm just seeing what we're doing here. Uh, oh, yes, we can do this. Go. Okay, <laughs> shape number six is not just a square, but it's a square on point. Okay, so we measured the hypotenuse. What's the shape you need on the outside to equal shape number one? The half square triangles. Yeah, shape number five. So it's a little it bit different size. It all works together. Yes. That's the cool thing about, and next week when we talk about the four inch cube, mm -hmm. we're gonna show how they all work together. Yes. Okay. And shape number seven is a parallelogram. Okay, I've never cut a parallelogram by hand, nor has Christina. <laughs> uh, never. Never. And um, I, they're just so hard to cut. So we have a quarter inch seam built around it, and you're going to use shape number five to make it into a rectangle. All right, and the last shape, Christina, is what? The rectangle. Rectangles. Two are on this die board, okay? So all of these shapes are the same in every cube. And in every cube, there are flying geese, shape number four and five. All right, so I'm gonna put these back in here. Look at this, okay. Oh, Pam, did you know that North Dakota is known for being the best bird watching state internationally? No, good yeah. job, North Dakota. They have a lot of, they're on a lot of migration routes. Do you know North Dakota is so far away? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. South Dakota is very, like, a lot bigger than I think we think it is. <laughs> right. People think we live in Nebraska. We should just go to North Dakota for lunch. North Dakota is a far, far away state. <laughs> Same with, like, Colorado. Like, driving through yes. western Nebraska is, like... Yes. When you go from Omaha to Denver, that's, like, a <laughs> 10-hour drive. Okay? Fast. 10 hours. Okay? All right. So, now, you're going to need a total of 100 half square triangles. Again, don't get in your quilting head and think, oh my goodness, bam. Okay, there are two on the die board, right? So here's how you're gonna do this. You're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna measure from here to here, it's three and a quarter inches. Just add a quarter of an inch on either side and rough cut with the fabric, okay? And then when we talk about fan folding and, and AccuQuilt, this is what we mean. We're gonna start right here on the shape and we're gonna go back and forth. And Christina, how many layers of cotton can we cut? Six. Six, what happens if you try to cut more? Uh, I feel like it'll just, it'll be too much stress on the die and the board and it won't Everything's cut Everything's gonna get stuck and yeah. it's gonna be awful, okay? So four, six, eight, nine inch cubes can all fit through your go me. All right, so I have my little fabric lengthwise green, right? That high and tight here, let's do it. Low and wonky, lots of stretch. High and tight. 
That's right, okay? And now I can fan fold. I want you to know I did a little time test when I was making this. It took me one hour and six minutes to cut and sew 100 flying geese. Wow. It took me longer to find the fabric that I was going to use, really, truly. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to run it through here, Michael, me. Okay, what else are people, states famous for? Let's see. Um, Lisa says Missouri is famous for Harry S. Truman, the Ozarks, the Gateway Arch, Barbecue, and Anheuser-Busch. There you go. I feel like some of those things belong together. I agree. Okay? <laughs> Give it a little love. Why? Static builds up. Okay? And look. Ta-da! I've cut perfect half score triangles. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut quarter square triangles. I did the exact same thing. I measured from here to here. It's five inches at a quarter of an inch on either side. Rough cut with the fabric, okay? Now, the cool thing about this is that I just use scraps, okay? So I'm just gonna put some of my scraps right here, okay? And now, remember, you're going to need 50 quarter square triangles, but four on the die board. It's not as hard as you think, okay? Actually, I'm going to cut more. I'm just going to cut green. Ooh, someone's asking which embroidery machine we're using. We have a baby lock. Yeah. It's like spirit. spirit. Yeah. It's very nice. Yes, I've always found it very intuitive and easy to use. Yes, because notice why I'm doing other things <laughs> while it embroiders, Okay. All right, so I'm going to run it through my gummy again. Where else are people's states famous for? Um, Heather says Nevada, so gambling and mining. Okay. Makes sense. I'm, I'm not paying attention here. I didn't have my mat in there. <laughs> it doesn't like, Christina, what happens if you try to use a die without a mat? Not a darn thing, Pam. Not a darn thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Washington has Walla Walla onions. Okay. I knew Kelly Kelly from Walla Walla. <laughs> All right. Her name was Kelly Kelly? Kelly Kelly. Okay. I heard, she didn't name herself. Her well, parents should be ashamed, no, right? I understand. Did she, what was her middle name? I don't know. She just was Kelly Kelly from Walla Walla. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, Joe's mad at me because I cut green fabric. I should have cut the blue. Darn. Okay. Don't forget to join us on Tuesday for our next live event. Lynn and Erica and I are here. Um, starts at 12 noon Central Time. Okay, I'm really excited about the show. Are you, Christina? We're going to yeah. talk about how you can mix and match bob dyes. I love that. I love all the bob dyes. I love the idea of putting them together to make new, like, looks. Yes. Yes, I agree. Be sure and register. Why did they want to register, Christina? So they can win prizes. They can win prizes. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to sew all of these. All of you are already in a panic about this. Like, oh, my goodness, Pam. Okay, so what I've done is I'm just going to show you how you chain piece for days. Okay, Christina, why do we lay out our fabric? So you don't make a mistake, Pam. You don't make a mistake. Which we all know right. all too well. Yes, we do. Okay, so I'm just watching my little thing here. Okay, so here's the thing about flying geese. Okay, I'm going to add one to this side, and I'm going to do all of the right side, and then I'm going to press it away. And then I'm going to do all the others. So when I was making my little Twitter pater project, Twitter pated, um, I, that's exactly what I did, okay? All right, here we go. So now I'm just going to line them up here, and since we cut off the dog ears, I just know right where that quarter-inch seam is. All right, Christina, why so? Tell us what are people, what's their state's famous for? Let's see. Um, East Chicago is known for steel mills. And pizza, Giordano's. There you go. And um, the White Sox. The White Sox. <laughs> I saw someone, I'll say, um, Tennessee for Jack Daniels whiskey. Oh, there, I Makes bet. Sense. It's a good time there. Um, Louisiana, Cajun food. Makes okay, sense. Okay, Tennessee, not Nashville and country music? That's yeah. funny. Probably okay. both. Well, they're close. They're not too far apart from each other. Lynchville's not far from Nashville. Is it not? Uh -uh. Okay. Um, where do they make... Okay, somebody lives there, I know. Where do they make... Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce? It's I don't like know. It's like somewhere in Louisiana. It's like this, where? Yes. See, Mike Did Mike knows. know? Listen, if you live where they make Tabasco sauce, tell us. Because it's rock salt. That's the basis for it and the peppers. Huh. My dad took a tour there. Fun. I know. Okay, so before I show you this, 
Um, what are we stitching next, little birdie? Oh, now we're gonna stitch the little wing. Okay, so I gotta change my thread. Okay, um, so this oh. is the coolest part of embroidery, right? Is you don't have to just sit and babysit it. It's not like toddlers. Um, okay. Diane says Portland, Oregon is home to the only leprechaun colony west of Ireland. Okay, what? I my parents live in Portland. Where's the leprechaun <laughs> colony in Portland? Portland is known for Powell's Bookstore, which is an amazing bookstore that takes up just stories and stories and st not all oh, pun intended. Dorothy um, says Oklahoma is known for tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, so that's so true. Okay. Leprechaun colony. The things I miss. Oh, yes. Everyone's, Mike's correct. It's Avery Island, Louisiana. Yeah. Yep. Everyone in the comments. <laughs> Everybody knows. You can take a tour. Well, I bet not now because there's a worldwide pandemic, uh, but back in the day. Okay, so here I've done the one side of my flying geese, right? Now I'm going to press. <gasps> I wish it was May 4th, even though we're not pressing to the dark side. Okay, typically we do. We have an event on May 4th, and no one is letting me say that. <laughs> okay, hold on here. I'm going to press one more. So look, they work out perfectly because... We have that quarter inch seam built in. Hold on. I have oh, to put Pam my... Oh, Pam says, or not Pam, Wendy says uh, Texas is, has Houston, home of the International Quilt Festival. Yes! I do miss that. We do miss that. Yes. I have been to Houston when it was so hot and humid, like my eyeballs were going to melt. Oh, I bet. Okay. So now, see, it did a little stitch to show me where to lay my wing. Okay. I, this is just so fun, okay? And look, it has a curly little tail. Gosh, super cute. Okay, hold on here. Screaming hot iron, okay? I think we should sell mason jars on our website and have my mason sign them all. Oh, there you go. Yeah. One day when he wins an Academy Award for his horror films, his, the first words he's going to say is, I don't want to thank my mom. <laughs> we already have it. We already know. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to pressing out my flying geese. Okay. And don't forget today our promo is buy one dyes, cubes, and mats. Yes. Get the second 70% off. Yes, we're basically giving it to you. We're, we are. We are. And Christine, if they spend more than 150, does it ship free? Oh, yeah. In the contiguous U.S. If you in spend over 150. US. So if you bought like that cube today and then got like the bird die for 70% off, it would ship free if you were in the contiguous U.S. Yes. It's great. Just think about that. Okay. So now look, I've done one half of my flying geese. Okay. And now I'm going to line it up right here. Oh, yes, go. Okay. All right, and I'm going to do all three of them because this is what I did. So when I was making this, quilters, I totally used 100% of my scraps. I did not go buy any yardage. And do you want to know how I knew how big to make the middle? Because that was the biggest piece of fabric that I had. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna come right here and do the same thing, look at us, okay? Don't forget to share, I'm giving away one of our birds go die, or go bird dies, to one lucky winner, share on your Facebook page. Morgan's gonna pick the winner and Christina's gonna announce it and we are all gonna clap. Yes. And whoever wins it today, I'm gonna send you our little applique bird. I'll send, we'll send it separately because Morgan can just order it through our through our whatever that's called <laughs> program. Oh, Sharon says Toledo, Ohio is the glass capital of the world. Glass. Like they make glass maybe? Like you make glass? I don't know. Wow. I'm learning so much today. See? I love this. Okay, Christine, if I'd asked you what Nebraska was famous for, what would you have said? I probably would have said beef or corn. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I feel like that's the big ones. Yeah. But yeah, also Arbor Day. Runs Arbor us. Day. Um, oh, someone said something in the comments too, and now I don't remember. 
Oh, uh, Godfather's Pizza started here. Oh, Godfather's Pizza, yeah. It's not as good as Giordano's, but hey, okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Pam. <laughs> Giordano's is the best pizza this side of anywhere. Well, Italy. Italy pizza is the best. <laughs> Mason does not eat pasta since we went to Italy. He just, he is just, he doesn't care. Okay. Wait, he doesn't eat what? He doesn't eat pasta in the United States. He only eats it in Italy. Oh. He's a fuss bucket when it comes to that. <laughs> I feel but like I couldn't, I couldn't not have pasta. <laughs> Mason doesn't have it ever. Ugh. I know, he used to eat pasta all the time, and then I shook him to Rome, and he was like, this is the best pasta ever. I'm never eating it at home again. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> then we should have had, like, spinach here or something. I mean, what? Oh, goodness. Okay. So look at this. Here's my little flying geese. Okay. Oh, Maryland says Nebraska is famous for AccuQuilt. It is! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, so here's the flying geese. Look, it has that quarter inch seam allowance built in, and every single time it is going to be perfect. I'll hold it up here for Miss Chelsea to see. Look at how cute that is, okay? All right, now I'm checking this. Hold on. Oh, this can be this part. Okay, and then I'm going to show you this little piece right here. I also love that you called Mason a fuss bucket. Fuss bucket, he is. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> okay, so the little nest. Um, Christina, what dye did we use for the little nest? Oh, stems and leaves? Stems and leaves. There we go. But here's the thing. I only wanted stems. Yeah. So here's what I did. Okay. Hold on here. I pre-fused my fabric, and I only covered the stems part because it's only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. Okay, so look at this. Oh, hold on. What is it gonna stitch now? Oh, here, I gotta change. One sec. Ooh, Pam. Yes. Um, Zeta in our comments says, Pam, I'm coming from Chicago to Omaha on Saturday. Do you want me to bring you a pizza? Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Oh. Seriously? No, you know what? Let's all be safe. Yeah, we should be safe. We should be safe. When there's not a pandemic, will you please come from Chicago to Omaha and bring me a pizza? <laughs> it, you, okay. You can buy them for When you, you land at Midway Airport, yes. you can take a cab three blocks to Giordano's. They have par frozen or par frozen yeah. or par baked or whatever they're called. So. Yeah pizzas that you can carry on the plane with you. Yep, they let you. And the cab driver will wait in the parking lot while you get some, and then you bring it back and you can go back through security and get on a plane to Omaha and bring Giordano's pizzas. The best, Tim's sister The answer did that is one. yes. Oh, thank you, that is a very kind offer. Let's be safe. When there's not a pandemic, you can totally bring me pizza. Oh, I'm already excited about that. Twitter paid it, super excited. Twitter paid it. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, now I'm coming here. And are you coming to Omaha or are you just going like to Denver or what are you doing? You're just I'm not sure where she's headed. Gosh, that's kind of exciting. I love it to hear that people are traveling. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. So once you've cut your stems and your leaves, um, you can totally make this any size that you want. And then you want to add the border of flying geese. So I want to talk to you about this because there's, there's an order. Okay? So flying geese, they're going this direction, and then they're going down, and they're going this direction. Okay, don't make your flying geese wonky. Make them go the way that flying geese should go. Okay? And... I'm not sure, Christy and I was thinking what I needed to do to finish this, um, well, besides quilt it. I, I didn't know should. if I should add some things to the top or not. What do you think? I feel like you should quilt it, but like, make like a cloud pattern. <gasps> we could totally do little, clouds. Little clouds. We could do that. I don't okay. know how you do that. I <laughs> Yeah, or I didn't know if maybe I should add some more like little stems up here like so it looked like they were really on a branch or oh, something. Oh, there you go. I don't, or leaves. I could just embroider Kimber family. There you go. That yeah, the cute. Kimber crew. Okay. All right, we have one last thing here. 
look how it's stitched out in all the right things. Okay, so just follow those instructions on how to finish your quilt, your little table topper, yep. your little, I'm so excited. Now you can totally use the two and a half inch strip um, die for your binding, yes. but you could use the one and a half and one and three quarter inch, that's the size they cut for flange binding. One of my favorite things to do, mm -hmm. okay? Be sure and join Lynn and Eric and I on April 27th at 12 noon central time as we show you how to mix and match bob dies. Christina, what's a bob? Bob is a block on board. So all the shapes you need for one quilt block is on the entire die board. On one die board, yes. isn't that amazing? I love that. Bobs are one of my favorite things we do. They are. So it's different from cubes in the fact that cubes, you take two or three cubes to make a block or four or five cubes to make a block. Whereas bob dies, they're just all in one die board. Okay, I have one last thread to change so that she has a little poof here on the end. We have a comment from Gwen that says, when we go to San Francisco, we bring back an extra piece of luggage to bring back sourdough bread. I'm down with that, I Gwen. love that. <laughs> um, back in the day when I traveled to the UK, um, I did shows on Crate and Craft Television, mm -hmm. and I would literally bring an extra suitcase full of candy yes. for the staff, because candy's different yep. in the US than it is um, in the UK. I, well, the one time I went to London, I used to work for a certain uh, bath store yes. and it's headquarters there. And I knew they would have a bunch of things that we didn't have here. So mm -hmm. I bought an entire piece of luggage at TK Maxx in London and brought home <laughs> bath items and shower things. I love it. I used to buy Oakley's clothes there all the time. Yeah. Cause then nobody here in the US had it, nope. right? Okay. All right. Don't forget our final promotion today. Buy one, get one 70% off. Go dies and cubes and cutting mats. Okay, so Christina, if they got the eight inch cube and the bird's die, how much is the bird's die? The bird's die is 15 bucks. $15. <laughs> what are you about a cube and a strip die, a two and a half inch strip die? The strip die would be $26. And it would ship to you free. Yep, if you're in those contiguous US, oh, it'll ship yes. free. And mat, so if you have the bird die and the mat, the mat is like seven bucks, eight bucks. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, so today's Ridiculous. a really great day to load up on dies and cubes and mats, right? Don't forget, you can recycle those mats. All right, you want to use the code APRIL70, A-P-R-I-L-70. All right, does Morgan have a winner? Yes, I got to scroll back to find it. Okay, let's announce the winner. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yes. All right, our winner is Carolyn, oh gosh, Strader Terry. Good job, Carolyn. <laughs> Thanks for watching us today. Hey, Morgan is going to reach out to you. Um, hey, Morgan, once you reach out to Carolyn, will you send me her contact information? And we'll throw our little embroidery bird in the mail for yes. you. All right, join me next week, 12 noon central time. All good things happen at 12 noon central time. Christina and I are going to use the four inch cube mm -hmm. and how it works with all of our other cubes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to have blocks from our different sizes of cubes, and we're going to sit and build. It's going to be super fun. I'm excited about it. Okay? On behalf of our entire AccuQuil team, we have Nick upstairs. We have Katie and Morgan and Leslie off-site. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Mike and Joe and uh, Chelsea and Chelsea Graphics, and we have Christina. I am Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Have a great week.